excited to be here. As a coach on the proverbial hot seat, I guess you're excited to be invited to any of these things. But uh, I uh, am looking forward to the uh, upcoming season. I know I say that every year, but uh, never more so than this year. We've got a bunch of youngsters that are that are been working unbelievably hard in anticipation of this uh, season. Jonathan has assumed a leadership role. And I just uh, am very, very excited about uh, having this group of guys. Many of them were in my first recruiting class when I got to UCLA, reached this point in their careers and, and have so much to prove, and, and especially at the dawning of a new conference and uh, uh, the first ever Pac-12 championship at stake. So uh, very much excited about the, uh, the prospect of uh, beginning the 2011 season. And, uh, Happy to take any questions you might have. Jonathan, you got anything you want to tell the folks? It's great to be here. Man of very few words. <laughs> Down here in the front center. Questions? Got one. Great. What do the Bruins have to do to get the fans excited to go into the Rose Bowl? Is it, is it just a win number total or is it? Beat Houston. Yeah, because of the, we play the next week against San Jose State. So to, for that, our, if we can go on the road and beat Houston, and do so in an impressive way. Uh, you know, look like a well-coached and a sound, fundamental football team. I think they'll come out the next week and be excited. And if we can find a way to win that one, then the next one's against Texas. And it's it can happen that fast. I mean, it, it doesn't take long to win back your your constituency. They just want to know that there's reason for their optimism. And uh, so uh, we just got to come out of the gate ready to play. Well, don't have to turn it around yet because nothing bad's happened yet. But, uh, uh, you know, I think in this business we all are on somewhat of a hot seat at all times. I mean, um, it just comes with the nature of the, the beast. Uh, certainly expectations at UCLA are such that, you know, it's important that we, we uh, fashion together the best season possible. I think we have uh, a number of quality kids with – the kind of experience that you can uh, safely say they're going to play well. You know, we've got to get lucky and stay healthy like every other team has to. But uh, if we can play well at the quarterback position, and when I say well, I mean consistently, and not turn the ball over to the extent that we've uh, been prone to do over the past three years, and we can uh, protect the quarterback, meaning that the offensive line can have some measure of continuity, and, and do a good job up front. And then put that together with the same running game that we fashioned last year when Jonathan was a 1,100-yard back. Uh, I think we're light years ahead of where we were at this point in the running game. So uh, if, even if the numbers were the same, if we can fashion together uh, the kind of throwing game that I've been associated with in the past, I think there's reason for great optimism. Defensively, we'll be better. Uh, we've had Took it on the chin a little bit because of inexperience a year ago. We lost Brian Price to the NFL. We lost Dayton Jones to a foot injury. So our two experienced guys up front were both lost. And so we were going we to be a little bit uphill in the front seven. Uh, but I think because of that, we're a year better, a uh, year older, a year stronger. And for the first time in my time at UCLA, we're too deep on defense with the possible exception at corner. So, uh, where, where everybody can go in there and, and, and play, and you don't feel like you're letting uh, uh, losing a lot when someone else goes in the game. So for those reasons, uh, hope springs eternal. Down here in the center, front row. This is for Jonathan. Um, they're changing the excessive celebration rule to take touchdowns away if, if, if you go crazy before the uh, goal line. Say you're down against USC with by five points, five seconds left, you're on the three-yard line. You do it in the round, you're all alone. How hard is it for you, to, for you not to do something crazy before you go over the goal line? You have to constantly <laughs> think about it, or how are you going to handle that? You just got to be disciplined, you know, and I just want to celebrate with my team after I score that touchdown, you know. After I do it, I just run, run over with, with my fellas and celebrate. Coach, how do you see the uh, quarterback battle uh, playing out going into camp? Well, I'm anxious to, to see it played out at all. You know, I, I do have an announcement to make with respect to Brett Hundley. Brett Hundley is going to undergo uh, uh, knee surgery on Wednesday. 
Uh, he's got a little torn meniscus that'll keep him probably out for three to maybe four weeks. Uh, hopefully we'll have him for the second half of camp. Uh, he heard it playing the basketball, uh, but, uh, but he'll be back before long. And, and uh, I, I'm excited that uh, he's had as much work as he's had prior to that so that uh, we at least know what we have when he does return to health. Uh, but uh, Kevin Prince, you know, is going to be back fully ready to go. He didn't participate in spring because of the uh, rehabilitation of his knee that was uh, surgically uh, repaired in last fall. Uh, so he and Richard Brijo and, and uh, Nick Chrisman, Darius Bell, they're going to fight in, in the scratch. And you know, ultimately, what we have to do is play the position well. Uh, it makes no difference as the name on the back of the jersey to me. What makes the difference to me is that the guy has all the intangibles that are necessary to play it well. One, intelligence, knows the situation, knows what the, the, is required of this particular situation. Two, has the ability to throw it to guys in the same color jersey accurately. And, uh, and three, uh, you know, the, the team loves him and follows him. You know, those are the kind of things that you need uh, uh, at that position. And, and our conference is full of them. And uh, it's time for UCLA to have that guy as well. This was not Who lines up with the first team? That's a, you know, I, we'll flip a coin. How's that? I, I, you know, I think Kevin Prince will. I think Kevin Prince deserves it. He was the starter when he got hurt, and uh, he'll get the first snap, and he needs more work because he didn't get spring football. But Richard will be right there, and it'll, it'll be about. Coach, a little bit of a tough go for you to start this process. Is it, has it been a little more difficult than you anticipated in getting this thing turned around? Uh, yeah, that's, that's fair to say. Uh, you know, I'm always an optimist. I believe that, you know, possible. I thought, you know, we were on the verge of it after the 2009 season with the bowl win and coming back. But last year, uh, unfortunately, took a step backwards with respect to uh, our progress for a number of reasons not to be gone into again. But uh, I think what drives all competitive people are great challenges. And this is certainly that. It's a great challenge. You know, I have a, a, a real stake in this. This is not just my job, it's my alma mater, it's kind of my dream to be the head coach at UCLA and uh, I am looking forward to this year like none other than that if we can get over this hump and get going in the right direction it will be one of the great accomplishments in my own personal career and something that uh, I think everybody will be excited about that uh, I'm close to within the program and externally that, that follow our program. So uh, I really I'm, I'm thankful for the challenge. It's going to be a great one uh, and hopefully a successful one. And with guys like Jonathan pulling as hard as they are and working as hard as they are, I feel uh, that uh, we've got a great chance. Yes, sir. I mean, I, I have no choice but to. You know, you have Raheem Moore going, Akeem Ayers going, and I'm placed in a platform where I have to lead this team. And, you know, in the late games when we need a guy to make a play, I have to be that guy. I have to, I have to be that guy to bring the spark to the team. I have to be that guy to carry the team to, you know, to the top once again, just with me and other guys. So I'm ready for that challenge. That's why I came to UCLA.